Just from a cost perspective, so I think about it like this, like to build out a kitchen could cost somewhere between 500,000, 600,000, especially if you're buying all new equipment. Leasing a kitchen space, uh, still kind of expensive. And so was the cloud kitchen model significantly more or less expensive for you guys? No, for sure. Building, building a restaurant from scratch can cost anywhere from a quarter million to millions of dollars. And yeah. with permitting, with the city and health department plan check, it can take months up to years sometimes. I've seen this before in LA. So Ghost Kitchen really is not only it's less investment, significantly less investment, but it's also a faster process. If you get all your paperwork together, you can open within two weeks. Three weeks. Yeah, two, three weeks. You know, you oh, just wow. have to bring your equipment in. You know, and that's it. Right. Everything else is permitted yeah. already. So it really makes sense, especially for new concepts like us, when you want to test the market. For me, ghost kitchens are what food truck used to be like 10, 15 years ago. You know, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep on growing because of COVID, obviously, but also because it's, it's, it's so much easier for young chef or startup, you know, concepts. And you can see Ghost Kitchen opening all across the country, you know, in Houston, yeah. in Chicago. Yeah. So do you see this as a stepping stone for something bigger in the future? Do you plan on opening up a, an actual restaurant a couple of years down the line or whenever, whenever you, you guys feel like you're ready to make the jump? Yeah. Yes. So we were thinking to, to have a, a restaurant, but now because all the pandemics, we need a big patio <laughs> just to make sure, yeah. you know, just to make sure we can run. This is our goal, you know, uh, we were actually about to, you know, open a, a full restaurant with bar, with patio and everything, you know, and put all authentic Peruvian experience, you know, that I see that I didn't see so many Peruvians that are really authentic in, in Los Angeles, in my perspective, but we do something young, you know. Yeah, we, we, we're definitely looking at when, one. I don't know, <laughs> because... I mean, with everything that is still going on, I don't know how the, the restaurant industry is, is going to be even in six months. Uh, but at some point, yes, we would love to, you know, open a brick and mortar location. And like you said, like give the full Peruvian experience with music and, and cocktails. 